India's GPU game just got a thousand crore boost. You heard that right. India just leveled up its AI bragging rights big time. Delhi NCR and Chennai are now home to India's largest NVIDIA H200 GPU clusters. That's 2048 of the world's most powerful AI chips deployed by one company, E2E Cloud. This is not just another infrastructure update. This is India planting its flag in the global AI compute race. Let's break it down for you. With 1,024 H200 GPUs in each cluster and a whopping 288.8 TB of GPU RAM, E2E Cloud is offering unprecedented compute capacity. These H200s deliver 2.4 times higher memory bandwidth, very essential for training massive AI models like DeepSeek or next-gen LLMs. And now, all of it is available through E2E's TIR AI and ML platform a simple click-to-deploy interface designed for developers, researchers, enterprises, companies, and more. No infra setup, no ops chaos, just compute at scale compute. But this is not just about raw power, it's also about accessibility. TIR makes AI infrastructure available on demand for the likes of, say, startups, researchers, even coders, and even enterprises with strict data compliance requirements. Paras Chopra's Lost Funk, which was previously called Turing's Dream, taps into E2E's GPUs. We can't wait to see what they cook up next. And with E2E's sovereign cloud, this compute power stays fully within India, compliant with the toughest data residency regulations in finance, healthcare, and government. So what does this mean for India? A lot more LLMs trained on Indian data. Faster AI breakthroughs in, say, pharma, fintech, autonomous systems, and compute sovereignty. India's AI compute won't depend entirely on overseas hyperscalers anymore. And this isn't happening in isolation either. LNT, one of India's biggest infra giants, just acquired a 21% stake in E2E Cloud. That means capital, scale, and a go-to market muscle are all now in play. So you can clearly see that E2E isn't just building clusters they are building India's AI backbone. Let's give you some numbers. In the quarter three of financial year 24 to 25, E2E recorded 41.6 crore INR revenue, 119% YOY EBITDA growth, and 59% EBITDA margin, and 1,000 crore INR raised for future expansion. This is one of the few companies in India deploying cloud GPUs at scale and profitably as well. So in a world where AI compute is quite literally the new oil, you can say, India has now its own refinery. And the best part, this is just the beginning. With the demand for AI workloads exploding, E2E is now betting big and betting smart on sovereign, scalable infrastructure. So the question now is, are you ready to build on it? Let us know what you would like to build with 2048 H200s. Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast just like you, just like me. And of course, subscribe to AIM TV because we bring to you all the real-time live updates from the world of tech and AI. Think AI, think AIM.